Indianness. No, of little and big Indian. Additional details will be available for launching my instance. Let's see. You might want to check the ASCII table to first find the hexadecimal representation of characters before finding the Indianness. Uh -huh. Read more about Indianness here. So basically, Indianness has to do with if I have a number that consists of more than one byte, are the largest bytes first. So like when we write a number, we'd write like 237. And the two, the biggest part of the number would come first. So in little endian order, you actually would sort of write the number in some sense backwards. So in base 10, 237 would be written 732. Uh, let's see, let's grab an ASCII table. They say that's gonna be helpful. And we need to, oh, it's just netcat, okay. Welcome to the Indian CTF. You need to find both the little Indian and big Indian representations of a word. If you get both correct, you will receive the flag. Enter the little Indian representation. Um, okay, I wonder what I wonder what they really want here. Do they want hexadecimal or is it thirty-two bit or sixty-four bit? So many questions. Um, all right, so they didn't want that. So let's maybe try uh, ASCII to hex. Okay, what do we were trying to do? I D O M W. I D D O M W. All right, so. Uh, well, let's just try it in backwards order. 776D6F6469. All right, so then big N again would be just in the normal order. 6964, 6F6D77. Okay, there's my flag. Indian swap success.